from a patient perspective, when they come in, they all see the same menu. And um, we have some designations on the menu with little hearts that let patients know that the meals are heart healthy. And our expectation is that as many people as possible will call and order their own meals. We do offer pre-select meals, but it's more likely that a patient will get something they really enjoy eating if they order if they order their own meals. The diet office is our call center and they take calls for patient meals for all three hospitals. Every operator has a view phone, so they know where the call is originating from and they can click right into the area in the of the hospital, like whether it's north, south, or tradition, and into the patient's room. And um, the really neat thing about that is they get to impact patient satisfaction throughout the health system because they have contact with all of our patients in, in all three hospitals. And uh, when they click into the patient's information, they see a screen that lists the choices for that patient's modified diet and then they guide the patient through their choices. So the order prints out in whatever kitchen it goes to, either north, south, or tradition, and, and the ticket prints out in several areas. It prints out at the start of the tray line, it prints out if there are hot foods, it prints out for our cooks, and it prints out in the cold area. And so everybody does their part, and they put the tray together, it goes down the tray line and into a cart, a delivery cart. If someone doesn't place an order, um, because they want us to send pre-select meals, we will. But when a patient's admitted, the nurse makes a designation that a patient's either going to utilize room service or not utilize. So if they don't utilize room service, they get a pre-select meal. If they're utilizing room service, but they don't call, we'll call them just to make sure they didn't forget to order a meal. It's important that patients know their diets and know that if someone's on, for example, a healthy heart diet or a diabetic diet, that it's their physician who's ordered that diet. Um, the operators in our call center, they really don't have, it's not their um, doing because a lot of times a patient will say, why did you put me on this diet? And it's a physician generated order. It's important for patients to understand is if they go for a test and they're NPO, nothing by mouth, we cannot send them food until the diet order is entered, even if, if they think, well, I'm done with my test, now I'm going to order my meal. If we don't have that order, if it hasn't been entered in EPIC, it, they still show up as NPO and we can't order food for them. Patients' family can order either by calling on the telephone or we do have some paper menus that family members can use if um, they want to order menus uh, in advance. Say they're only going to be there at breakfast and they want to put in some paper menus and they can do that. But we also can take orders in advance if somebody wants to, if a family member is say here for lunch and they want to order lunch and dinner at the same time they can. We generally like people to order per meal because you really don't know today what you want to eat tomorrow or even at breakfast what you want to eat for dinner and that's really one of the um, beauties of room services that you get to order what you want when you want it. People can't control much when they're in the hospital, but everybody eats. So we want their experience to be very pleasant because people need to eat in order to heal.